Um, we're going to start, so go ahead. I am using cans, but again, lightweight, or if you have toning balls, those work as well. I'm going to start facing the side just so you can see me from a side view. But you're going to have your cans side by side. And then you're going to have your heels up on your weights or on your cans, on your toning balls, and the balls of the feet are gonna be down on your mat, okay? So we just have a nice, solid position here. We're standing up, we're as tall and as neutral as we can be. Let's go ahead, just take the hands, wrap them around the rib cage, and we're just gonna start with some breaths just to warm up the body. We're gonna take a big inhale through the nose Breathing into the rib cage, front, side, and back. And then let's exhale out through the mouth. Just feeling a gentle wrapping sensation of the rib cage. Feel like a flattening and sinking sensation of your abdominal wall coming away from your shirt towards your spine. And again, another nice big inhale. Feel the rib cage expand like a balloon, three dimensionally. And then as you exhale out, through the mouth. Don't change the structure of your spine. If anything, root your feet down a little more, grow a little taller through the spine, but feel just that increased connection through the pelvic floor and the transverse abdominis to hold the body upright. One more time. Another nice big inhale here through the nose. And then exhaling out through the mouth. We're gonna bring the hands down towards your thighs and we're gonna hinge the hips back, send the knees forward. So we're just gonna soft bend here with a still nice neutral position through the spine. We're gonna go into imprint and release. So we're taking an inhale here through the nose. On the exhale, you're connecting through the obliques to find your imprint. So just thinking of the pelvis moving upwards towards the rib cage. If you notice my lower back does lengthen a little bit. Take an inhale to maintain that imprint. And then on the exhale, control the return back to neutral where I have that small little curvature through my lower back. Again, take an inhale here. Exhale, you're just connecting through the obliques to find that imprint. Take an inhale to maintain. Exhale, control the return back to neutral one more time. Take an inhale. Exhale to imprint. Inhale to maintain. Exhale to return, going into a full cat stretch. We take an inhale here. On the exhale, we're gonna tuck the tail, rounding that lower back now, the middle back, and then allow the upper back to follow. You notice it's just my spine movement. My lower body is staying the same. Take an inhale to stay. And then on the exhale, release the tail, the lower, the middle, the upper, going through neutral, then just lifting the chest forward into extension. Taking an inhale here. Exhale, tucking the tail, rounding all the way up through the spine, the head drops. Take an inhale to stay. Exhale, releasing the tail, the lower, the middle, the upper, come through neutral into extension. One more time, take an inhale here. Exhale, tucking that tail, rounding the spine. Nice, take an inhale to stay. Exhale, releasing from tail to head, through neutral, into extension, and then just come back to that long line. Take your left hand, bring it to the right knee, Right arm reaches straight forward. From here, press into the knee with the left hand and rotate up to the right. So you're just spiraling the spine, opening through the chest, and then just returning right back center. Good, we inhale to open. Exhale to come center. Two more. Inhale, open. Exhale, center. Inhale, open. Exhale, center, bring the right hand to the left knee. Left arm reaches straight forward, we reverse. Inhale, rotating to the left, and then return right back center. Inhale, rotate open. 
exhale, returning back center. So we're moving from the rib cage. Feel that movement through the spine. Returning back center one more time. Inhale up. Exhale, center. Come all the way up to standing. Inhale, both arms lift. Keeping the arms by the ears, try to round the spine now all the way down. Head comes down. Try not to let all the body weight shift back. Think of this as like when we do the roll up on the mat, except we're rolling our body down. So here, imagine peeling that spine away from the mat, hands reaching over the toes, and then begin to tuck the tail. Right, getting that lower back towards the mat, pull up to the obliques, come all the way back up to standing. Arms lift back up overhead. Two more. Start to nod that chin. Again, peeling the spine away from that wall. Starting just to feel the front of the body, right? Kicking in to hold as you round forward and then use the glutes to draw down. Use the obliques to pull up as you return all the way back up to vertical. One more time, inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, nod the chin. Again, you're thinking of coming over the toes, trying to let all that body weight shift back. Keep rounding forward all the way down, reaching beyond those toes, try not to let the body just collapse, and then begin to tuck the tail, drawing down, coming all the way back up to neutral and vertical. From here, we're just bending the knees, we're sending the hips back, warming up the hips and the knees, and then we're just gonna press right up to vertical. It should be this easy movement. Send the hips back, that's what brings the chest forward, and then press and lift. Make sure those knees are angling right over the toes, not going out to the side or coming in together. We bend and press. Six more, this is six. And lift. Five. And lift. This is four. Press it back. Three back, two more, two, this one, we bend and hold, keep reaching those arms, just moving through the shoulders, we protract, we retract, so just that shoulder girdle, and back, the spine stays neutral, we're going to start to feel some heat through the quads, through the glutes, reach, back, four, four, this is three, this is two, this is one. We reach both arms up as we lift and we circle them around. We bend the knees, arms reach forward. We straighten, lift, circle around. Just nice arm circles, bend and reach. Press everything up, circle around one more time, bend and reach. We lift, circle around, reverse. We lift up and bend and press. We lift, bend as you reach forward, stand as you come down. We lift, bend and around. Lift, bend and come around. Get a nice final stretch up. Then just let those arms fall back to the side. We're gonna come off the weights. Okay, so we're all the way down. We're gonna grab them. So they're in our hands. Then we're just gonna to come to a nice wide second position. We're just gonna move through the upper body a little bit, okay? Hands start straight down in line with your shoulders. Palms are facing up. I'm not used to this warm weather and I'm already sweating in my house. So sorry, I'm like out of breath. From here, we're just gonna start with a bicep curl. We're just pulling up and then we're straightening out. So just nice easy movement coming down. We're nice and neutral through the pelvis. Good, now we're gonna add on. So from here we go out to the side. Think back of the hands coming in towards each other. So we internally rotate, 
We go back out to the side and down, and then we bicep curl. We lift and down. Let's do that again slowly. We lift, turn in, out, turn out. We bicep curl. That's it. We're going to speed it up a little. We move in, move out, we curl. And again, allow it to be easy movement through the shoulders. If you've done any of my classes this week, we kind of talked about moving the arm from the back and not necessarily the shoulder. So feel the movement come all the way from behind the body, starting to feel some work right through that mid back, not just the shoulder joint. So it's easy movement around curl one more like this and we're going to add the lower body pull in and down bend add the lower body we bend as we go forward we straighten we bend as we bicep curl and straighten a little dancerish coming back we bend down making sure we still have the neutral position through the pelvis and spine bend reach forward back bend four more this is four down this is three down this is two good down last one down hold it right here both arms straighten out, just the right arm. We bicep curl, lifting that right heel. We lift and lower, right side still lift and lower. Up, down one more, four, four, left side, four. This is three, stay open through the chest, sit bones drawing down towards the floor. This is one we alternate. Right, switch left. Right, switch left. Make sure when you're going to the ball of the foot, you're through the big toe and the baby toe. This is two, this is one. Both legs, both arms, we lift and lower. We lift. We lower, lift, three more, three, Ooh, this is two, this is one, come up, hands come in, elbows are wide, legs are going to stay straight for a moment, you're welcome, we're going to move out to the side, the movement is we side bend, as we side bend, we just open the arms out, so I'm almost in like a star position. So my arms are just following what my torso is doing. I bend, come back to vertical. We're gonna stick to make it easy, just going to the right side. So we open, side bend, return to vertical. Open, side bend, vertical, reach, pull in, that's it out and in that's it good pull up now think reaching out growing a little taller move head to tail tail to head two more two pull in one pull in we open and hold right arm stays down Left arm rotates, comes to the right arm, and then we open back to the side. That's it. We rotate, close. We open back to the side. We rotate, close. Open to the side. Rotate, close. Open to the side. We're going to add a pivot. As we rotate, close. We're pivoting that left side. We rotate, come down, and then we lift all the way up. We rotate, pivot, down, and lift up. That's it. Rotate, pivot, 
and open. Rotate, pivot. Good. Open. Four more here. This is four. Think down, then open. Make the movements big. Don't be afraid to take up space. This is two. Open. This is one. We're holding it here. Just reaching up with that left arm. Little lifts up for eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Use that left oblique. Three. This is two. This is one. Come all the way up. Hands come back in. Elbows are wide. We're moving over to the left. We side bend. Open. And pull in. Where are we moving from? We're moving from that rib cage and that elbows. My shoulders are staying relatively stable. Open, pull in. That's it. Four, pull in, reach out. Pull in. This is two, pull up. This is one, pull up. This time we go out, holding it here, that right arm rotates to the left. We come back to the side. We rotate, move back to the side. Two more, just close. Think like jaws closing down. They open up. Jaws close down. Add that pivot. We close, pivot over. So you're reaching beyond that left side and then open. We pivot, reach beyond that left toe and open. Pivot, close. Back, open. Pivot, close. We hold, little lifts up for eight, seven, keep reaching, five, four, three, two, one, come all the way up. Elbows come into your rib cage. We bring those toes and feet in just a little bit. So we're just outside the hips. My toes are now facing forward. Once again, just nice and neutral. I'm going to start just externally rotating from the shoulders and then pulling back in. That's it. I'm turning out. I'm turning in. Turning out. Good. Turning in. Out. In. I turn out. Now I press out. As I press out, I get that full rotation so my palms face back. I turn back up as I bend my elbows in and then I close. So I open, everything reaches out and back. Pull back in and close. One more time slow like that. We open, press everything back, then lift and close. We're just speeding it up. We open, press back, bend and close. Open, press back. Bend and close. Again, where are we moving from? Move from the back. Keep everything stable through the torso. So we're still thinking about the abdominals, about that pelvic floor pulling up, even though all the movement is coming from the upper body. We're not swaying side to side or shifting. Two more. We open, press. Bend and close. We open, press, bend and close. We open, we're gonna press and just hold it here. Little pulses back. We go back for eight, seven, six, five shoulders pull away from the ears. Three, two, one from here, from the hip joint. We're gonna hinge forward. So 
So I have a flat back forward. My sits bones are going back. I pulse up here for eight, seven, six. Then I have to think up, not back. Four, three, two, one. Bring the hands down in front, palms face in. My spine is neutral. I just go into a fly. I open out. I pull back in. I exhale open. Inhale close. Your head is an extension of your spine. So in no way should it be falling below your shoulders. It should be reaching out as long as you can. So you have that sense of opposition from your tail to the crown of the head, but also through that wingspan. Four more. This is four. This is three. Open two. Open one. As the arms come down, I want you to straighten the legs. Let the body just round forward. Getting a stretch through the back, through the shoulders. And then begin to roll the spine all the way up from tail to head. Nice work, everyone. We're gonna come down onto the mat. We're gonna be sitting facing the side. Again, you can have your weights, cans, toning balls in your hand, or you can do this without. We're gonna have your knees bent. And then if you're feeling pretty grippy through your hip flexors, you can also flex the feet so your heels are on the mat and your toes are lifted up. I like this option because it helps me activate through the back of my leg a little bit more versus with my feet are flat, I tend to grip up into my hip joint. And also allow there to be a pretty good sense of distance between your heels and your sits bones. You'll get more movement through your lower back. Weights are straight out in front. Just like a half roll back on that exhale, we're gonna scoop, we're gonna roll the pelvis back. Almost trying to get that lower back down on the mat. And then we're gonna draw that rib cage down. And we're just gonna stack back up, tail to head. So we scoop. As much connection and control there is on that roll back, I want the same amount of control and connection on the way up. Again, we scoop, roll it back. Inhale, control it up. One more time. Press down, think reach out through the heels. Tuck the tail under, reach the sits bones underneath you. Return back up. From here, we're gonna scoop, roll back. We're gonna hold it here. Starting with that right arm. We bend that elbow, we just pull it in and then reach it straight. The left side, pull in, and reach it straight. So this is narrow. My elbow stays pulled in, and reach. Left side, and reach. And as I move my upper body, I'm keeping that C curve of the spine. Pull in, and reach. This is two, reach, one, reach, return all the way up to vertical. From here, exhale, scoop, roll it back, holding it here, we bend the elbows both. We bend them both back and up. Pull back and reach. That's it, pull back, trying to keep that wrap of the rib cage. Don't let that go as the elbows come back. Reach, four and more. Four, and forward. Good, three. And forward, two more. Two, forward, one, Forward, return all the way up. Weights come down. 
We're going to bring your spine all the way down onto the mat. Hands are just right on top of your weights. You're lying completely flat down. Okay, we have a neutral position through the spine and through the pelvis. We're going to go into a hip lift. We take an inhale through the nose. On the exhale, you're going to squeeze the glutes, lifting the pelvis straight up. From here, you're going to break and lower down halfway. We do three pulses up. We lift three, down up for two, down up for one. Now you're going to hold it here. You're going to lift the right leg. Then you're going to lower it down. You're going to lift the left leg. You lower it down and then break and lower the whole pelvis down. We're going to do that whole thing again. So we squeeze and lift up. We lower down halfway. Three pulses up. Three, two, we hold. Now we start with the left leg. Left leg lifts. Inhale, lower. Exhale, right leg lifts. We lower, break and lower the whole pelvis down. Two more. We squeeze, lift up. Lower down halfway. Three pulses up. Two. Hold it at that highest point. Right leg lifts. We lift. And lower. Left leg lifts. Lower, break and lower the whole pelvis down. One more time. We squeeze and lift up. Lower down halfway. Three lifts. Three, two, hold it right here. Left leg lifts, then lowers. Right leg lifts and lowers. Hold it here. Instead of just lowering the pelvis, go ahead and roll the spine all the way down, moving through your imprint, controlling the return back to neutral. We're going to take an inhale here. On the exhale, find that imprint through the pelvis, right? So we're moving the pelvis back towards the rib cage. We're going to bring the right leg up to tabletop. We're going to bring that left leg up to match, squeezing those inner thighs. If that's not great for you, you can also keep the leg sits bones width apart. And then we're going to nod that chin, we're going to curl up. Right now, hands are still just on top of the weights, and we're just reaching the fingers forward, and the eyes are staying at the knees. If this feels not great for your neck, keep the head down. It's not a big deal. From here, keeping your imprint, the right leg reaches away from you. We inhale, pull it back in. The left leg, exhale, reaches. Inhale, pulls in. Right leg reaches. Inhale, pull in. Left leg reaches. Keep that same integrity, we're gonna speed it up. We go right, now switch left. So we're passing right through center. And switch, six, five, four, three, two, one, come center, hold it here. Lift the weights up, and we're gonna flip palms face up. Keeping that curl, keeping the legs, we just bicep curl in. We pull in, reach out. Pull in, reach out. Make sure those heels are in line with your knees. And reach, that rib cage is down towards the pelvis. Four more, four. This is three, two more, two, last, one. Hold it here, right leg comes down. Left leg comes down. Go ahead, lower the head, the neck, and the shoulders. One weight comes to the front. You're going to roll onto your side. So I'm going to have you guys on your left side. 
Okay, we're gonna come all the way down, so you're lying flat. Bottom arm can be supporting your head, okay? Can be straight or bent. Top leg is straight, bottom leg stays bent, and then you're gonna take your weight, and you're just, the arm is gonna be straight until the weight just comes down onto your thigh, right? And you're just holding it here. It's not that much resistance, but it's just gonna add a little bit of something, just a little bit of work and a little bit of feedback. Also with the hand up, you're gonna be forced to stabilize more through that torso. From here, that top leg points up, and think of almost pressing down on the leg as the leg comes up hip height, and then we flex the foot lower down. We point and lift up, we flex and lower down. We point, lift up, we flex and lower, point, lift, flex, lower. This is four, down, this is three, down, this is two, down, one, down, point, lift, and hold. Little circles here. We go circle around, keep pressure down on that weight. Three, four, we have four more here, four, three, nice, two, one, reverse. We're going back, and two, three, four, four more, this is four, this is three, two, one, hold it right here. Now we're just going up like two inches higher than hip height, right back down to hip height. So it's small, it's just a little higher, a little down. So it's almost up to and down to. Up to and down to. Four, pelvis stays quiet, upper body stays open and stable. This is two, down, one, come down. Bottom knee is stacked, I'm sorry, top knee is stacked on top of your bottom knee. We're gonna come up so we're on your forearm. Okay, knees are stacked. Your right arm is gonna have that weight. You're on your bottom left forearm. You're gonna have that right arm right in front of your shoulder, okay? Try to push away, right, from that bottom shoulder, and if this is not awesome for your shoulder, you can still stay lying all the way down. From here, we're just lifting your arm up. So we're almost going back up to that star position, like we were in the beginning of class when we were standing, and then we're just bringing it down in front. The whole time, we're keeping that lift to the bottom oblique, and we lower down. That's it. We lift, good and lower, we lift, and lower from here. As we lift the arm, we're gonna lift that bottom hip. So we're in a side plank, we lower the arm, we lower the hip. We lift up, we come to a side plank, that's it, we lower down. Two more, lift, side plank, Good, and lower down. Last one, lift side plank. Now we're holding it here, just that right arm goes down to the hip. We go down, lift four. Down, three. Down, two, nice, down, one, come all the way down. Nice. Let's swing around, reversing this on the other side. All right, so we're lying flat. Bottom knee bent, top leg straight. Weight is right on top of the hip. Arm is straight, holding it down. We have that little lift between that bottom oblique and the mat. And from here, we point and lift. We come up hip height. We flex the foot lower down. We point lift, we flex lower. 
point up, flex down, point lift, flex down, four, down, this is three, down, this is two, this is one, flex down, from here we point and come up hip height. Holding it here, we circle it forward for eight. Again, these circles are small. Think almost the size of your soup can. Four, four more, four, three, two, one. We go back for eight, back seven, six, good, five, four, three, Two, don't collapse just yet. Holding it here, we're going up two, down two. Lift, down, keep energy through the leg. Down, moving from the top of the hip, not the knee, not the ankle. For four, this is three, good, two, one, bend that knee, come on top. Coming up to your forearm. Knees are bent, we're lifted through that bottom oblique. We have that top left arm reaching forward, right in line with your shoulders. From here, we pull it up and press back. And then push down. That's it. We have the weight, but try to create your own resistance within your body, right? You're holding the bones using your muscles. Lift and down. Press up. Lifting that bottom hip. We lift up. We lower down. We lift it up. We lower down, we lift it up, we lower down, we lift it up, we hold it here, lower the arm, down to the hip, and lift, we lower, and lift, two more, two, up, good, one, Lift and come all the way down. Nice work. We're gonna come up to your knees now. So a little more work through the back of the body. I'm gonna be facing the side, but you can face the front if you would like. I just want you to again, kind of see me from a side profile position. You're gonna have your right knee in front, your left knee back, pelvis is in the center of both legs, okay? So again, neutral position, weights are straight out in front. From here, as you bend the elbows in, similar to how we did when we were doing the half roll back, you're gonna hinge the body forward. So we bend, you hinge. So I'm not collapsing, my spine is still neutral, and then I'm gonna straighten my elbows back. I bend my elbows as I come up the vertical, I push my arms back out. So I bend, hinge, I press, I bend, I push, bend, hinge, press, bend, push, bend, hinge, press, bend, pull up, bend, hinge, press, bend, push out, this is four, push, bend, press. This is three, press, bend, push. This is two, press, bend, push. This is one, press, bend, push. Hold it here, both arms now, just lift up. They press back down. 
So again, as my arms lift, my rib cage does not change. I lower. That's it. I lift, staying steady here. Feeling my right hip press back, my left hip press forward. Three. And down. This is two. Press it down. This is one. Press it down. Bend the elbows in. Try to come into a seamless transfer. Pulling that right knee back. Switching that left knee forward. Arms reach straight out in front. Right into it again. We bend, hinge. Press back. Bend. Forward. Right. Bend. Good. Bend. Press, pull up. Bend, hinge beyond the knee. But try not to rotate through the pelvis. Push. Bend. Feel the work through the back. Bend. Push. Four. Four. Bend. Working through that left glute to help stabilize. Reach. Good. Two more. Bend. Press. Nice. Bend, push, bend, press, bend, push, hold here, lift it up. Six, down, five, down, this is four, this is three, two more. Two, last, one, and now bend the elbows in. Pull your left knee in. Weights come out to the side. We're gonna come down onto your hands, so we're in a modified push-up position. Knees are back behind the hip. Elbows are extended underneath your shoulders. Last little blast, we're going into push-ups. Down on three up on one. We inhale down, 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 push away. Again, feel the work through the back. Down, push away. Eye line stays lifted in line with the spine. Push away. Abs pull up a little more, a little more, Push away, last two, down, 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 press, last one, down, down, and push. Go ahead and sit back. Sit back on those heels, reaching the arms forward. You can even go ahead and separate the knees a little bit. Allowing yourself an actual fold at the hip, right? It's almost like a true child's pose, getting that stretch all the way through the back. You can then walk both hands over to the right side, allowing the sits bones to fall towards the left side. Just increasing that lateral stretch. Nice. And then walk the hands through your center, bringing them over to the left side, allowing those sits bones to fall towards the right. Nice. Coming back through to center, slowly roll all the way up to a seated, position. Let's just stay for two breaths, taking a nice big inhale through the nose, feeling that breath expand into the rib cage. As you exhale out through the body, kind of let everything fall, let everything relax. One more time. Take a nice big inhale, filling up the rib cage, filling up the lungs as much as you can. And then exhale out through that mouth, blowing out the birthday candles, letting everything go. 
Awesome job, guys. That was wonderful. Thanks, you guys, for joining me this morning. I hope you guys have an awesome weekend. You can enjoy the beautiful weather as much as possible.